Okay guys, well I haven't done one of these videos for a while, but there is some pretty interesting information that I wanted to bring to your attention. And as well as some of the information that this key is helping me to unlock and how that is now also connected to other events that I can't really discuss in the Mystery Teachings series because I'm really trying to allow the information that the key is unlocking to speak for itself. So in the Mystery Teaching series, I really like to keep any speculation absolutely limited and let the actual information prove itself. Because basically when I do reveal the key at the end of the series, that will just confirm everything that I have shown you to be absolutely factually what the ancient Egyptians believed and were trying to tell us. And the reason that this was all taken away from us and that's because this information is showing us that we are immortal ethereal souls and we incarnate here continually over a 26,000 year period and what the information is also showing me is that we are birthed here from God consciousness as souls in order of divinity and that means closest to God consciousness and we also do this in the Fibonacci sequence so it's a birthright and it's not something that you can really hold against another because nobody has their choice of when God created them so it basically evens the playing field to really be about birthright and due to this these divine souls have to hold that honorably in that position and so the divine souls are not so much seen as rulers but rather extensions of God um, and of God's divinity that basically overfloweth like the cup onto others and this is how the collective, you know, soul and the collective consciousness works within us. And basically, this is exactly what scripture is showing. And now I am starting to realize just how much this key is connected to scripture. And, you know, I've always had an aversion to scripture. And that's probably not a good thing for a researcher because we do know that we should never not look at any information. And I suppose because I did have some contact with the religious institutions as a child and due to those bad experiences, I really didn't want to look at anything to do with them. And plus, I did think that they were all very manipulated. So I couldn't really rely on what was truth and what wasn't. I always had a thought and a feeling that scripture was the guidelines and the guidebook left to us by the divine, by God, and it had just been manipulated. But as I said, because I couldn't understand which parts were real and which parts weren't, I never really accounted for it in my research. And anybody that has followed me for the last three years that I've been on YouTube and followed my research know that I always used to depend on basically what the ancient mythology and ancients were telling us. And I really tried to steer clear of Christianity and uh, anything that I knew had been heavily manipulated. However, now that I have the key and it is unlocking all of these other mythologies and these other cultures, I can now start to see where the manipulation within the scripture by the Antichrist has taken place. And so now I'm actually, you know, I'm actually willing to accept scripture as a, uh, you know, something that can be relied upon because it's actually adding up across culture once again. And it's basically telling me exactly what everything else is telling me, you know, and that is that once again, uh, there are the divine souls amongst us and it's by order of creation. And this um, illumination of the divine souls is what brings these messiahs. You know, it's not anyone descending from God, you know, God sending some guy down, you know, and he's going to drop from the clouds. And it's not any alien or galactic federation. This savior the messiah the um chosen one the divine one that whatever the you know whatever they called them 
were these souls that basically have a closer connection to God because really that is what we are. We are an extension of God on the physical plane and we are playing out his experience. And so although he wants us to have free will because he wants to experience us individually, he also wants us to get to our destination and that is to reunite with him, to see him face to face once again. And this is because, you know, God loves us. We're part of him and his whole reason for existing is to basically reunite with us once again and then send us on our way into another version of his reality. And as I said, it's like a river that is all going out to the ocean in its different tributaries but it still gets to the same place at the end. It still ends up at the ocean, all of them. And this is what happens. And everything around us is now only created to make us believe differently. And so we've got all these different salesmen out there selling us this version of who we are. And the truth is, is that we are immortal ethereal souls incarnating throughout a 26,000 year cycle and at the end of that cycle we reunite with God consciousness and he rewards or he doesn't. And that is pretty much where the aversion to my information probably comes to. A lot of people can't handle the fact that uh, they may not have complete free will to create their own reality which is what the New Age Church wants you to believe that you can do. And, um, you know, they don't want to also believe that they're accountable, which is once again what the New Age Church tells them that they don't have to be. And so they can just be complete assholes, but then decide that they can just go to some meditation retreat on the weekend and they are going to be, you know, enlightened because they're really not accountable to anyone but their own consciousness. And that's once again, you know, just, you know, quite foolish to take that path, you know. A path of the atheists as well, you know, they know better than the Christians, you know, it's all like everyone's got this version, you know. So the version that, um, you know, we really need to pay attention to is what all the information is showing us. And that's, I'm saying, I'm just bringing you what the key is bringing me. So I've got no preconceived ideas of any information, I'm just totally bringing you what it's showing me. And of course, as I said, there's other information that that is now unlocking that I can't really put into the mystery teachings series because I, I want that to just be the information that the key's unlocking. And some of this information is that uh, it looks like that Orion started illuminating around the 1600s. And uh, this is also now connecting to what I'm finding and that is that there are divine humans and that when Orion starts illuminating, so do they. But because we're all part of God, we all illuminate. It's just that there are, as I said, by order of creation of the souls, some souls that are closer to God consciousness. And so, therefore, we get to God through them. And this is what scripture even says, you know, you get to the God, you know, God through the sun. And um, this is basically what all the information is showing. And so, yes, in a way, there seems to be a Messiah, but it's not this Messiah that the church has tried to sell you that's going to come and save everybody. Um, it's just that there are going to be illuminated souls that will guide humanity in a time when Orion illuminates fully, God illuminates fully. And this is also what my information is showing because, once again, anyone that's followed me for a few years knows this is where I started with the space weather. Okay, researching into the space weather and what that was showing me. And it was showing me huge changes, big changes are taking part cosmically with our sun, things they can't understand, things occurring that they've never seen before. And this is all tying into prophecy. And this is exactly what the Bible is. The entire Bible is prophecy, just like the Norse mythology and all of the other mythology because it's a cycle. And so not only has it happened, it hasn't happened. Okay, it's a continual cycle that we play over in Orion's mind, in God's mind. And as I said, we're an extension of him, not only consciously, but also emotionally, because we're connected to God through our heart and consciously. And this is why we see Jesus with the heart. 
But then we also see the triangle with the eye because this is, you know, symbolizing both aspects of how God is connected and how we are an extension of God's mind being played out on the physical plane. And we are manifested onto that physical plane through the sun. The sun is basically a vortex connected to the Orion Nebula. And as I said, I can say this also based on all of the other research I've done into the electric universe, into quantum physics, uh, into space weather. I mean, you can check through my channel. So it's not like I've just started with mythology and scripture. You know, I'm looking at all angles. And this is what is entirely possible, that there is a portal or a vortex connected from the sun to Orion. And this is, of course, why they've hidden Orion and they did not want us looking at Orion. And, you know, now there's this real push to make Orion evil. You know, anyone out there telling you that Orion is connected to reptilians or anything evil are establishment shills. And they're everywhere, guys, you know, because, as I said, now that I realize what this information is telling us, anyone that's telling me differently is now suspect to me because why are you telling me something that this information is not showing. You know, unless someone's telling you that you're an immortal, ethereal soul, they're not giving you the full story. None of those religions out there, not even Kabbalah, none of them are giving anybody the full story. I mean, don't get me wrong. The priest and the rabbi at the top, the Antichrist, they know the full story, but nobody else does. So this is now what all of this is starting to unlock is the full story and that is that you know Orion has started illuminating it started in the 1600s and it started again in 99 and the more it illuminates the more it brings out information and the more information it brings out the more we start understanding who we are and so now it seems that we have these souls that have been created in order of you know birth um, are more connected to God consciousness and this is what the mythology about the immortals were that walked the earth and this is why it wasn't these aliens and this is exactly what they want to push on us is that it was aliens that we would never be capable of making and you know creating such a, a beautiful and uh, absolutely magnificent civilization like ancient Egypt or you know the Mayan cultures or Angkor Wat you know but this was all when we were in this height of consciousness and this is where we're returning because now the ether is returning this is what they're hiding this is the space weather that's all occurring um, there is another energy that they can't measure they've just shut down harp so it's all starting to unfold so you know this is basically all about to play out and we need to understand who we really are and start perceiving ourselves in the correct way and as I said start identifying that uh, there are a lot of salesmen out there all trying to give you their version of the truth but you know if they're not telling you that you're immortal and ethereal and you are the only one accountable for your behavior and you are the only one accountable for your soul uh, then really they're not giving you the truth at all so you probably should have to ask yourself why that is and you know understand that um, in World War II the Sun changed and uh, this is when we started playing to their script because they knew that the time of the light was going to start returning and so they've set everything up to actually be rolled out and mentally condition us so we couldn't understand what was happening because we didn't really know who we were. So anyway, um, I was going to bring you this article and I ended up just uh, bringing you all the other information that uh, I've been uncovering. But uh, it's a really interesting one. They've uncovered these um, pyramids over in Egypt and basically um, they are saying that these pyramids were hidden on purpose, were actually buried on purpose. And, you know, the Maya did the same thing. They buried their pyramids. So I just find it really interesting that that is what they did and that these finds are all starting to come out now. Uh, we also have um, King David's palace to be found. Uh, so I'll link these underneath and you can have a look at them. Anyway, guys, I'll leave it there. And uh, as always, peace out.